it's already an expensive package since we have a beacon on it. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. And the beacon probably won't be the more expensive piece. <laughs> if it's rocky at the bottom, you're really done. <laughs> Well, it's almost there. Oh, oh, I think it's there. No, not quite. Almost. You don't want to jump the gun on this one. No. Just go catch it last minute. <laughs> Some yeah. manip skills. Take right. those arms out. It's there. All right. Where am I going? Back to where we were. What was the overall time on that drop? Um, was it like... It started 19 at 52. 1952. Oh, half hour. Yeah, that's what Trevor said. Trevor, you're off by a minute. You're, you're off by a minute on that one. 29 minutes to the bottom. Oh. It's on the bottom back now? in now. Okay. Oh, and I said 30? Oh, price is right rules? I am out. Rats. Uh, you want to come down a couple of meters? Mate. Coming down. Oh. So I want to be going back here somewhere, right? Where yep. we were? Yeah, it's like right here, yeah, right where yeah. our squiggles are. Higgledy squiggledy thing. Higgledy squiggledy. It's like hanging right out by the between the CTT monument and the IP, so it's over really? there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that thing's hanging the on the monument. It could go. Oh man. <laughs> Just go towards you, where you can't see anymore, and you'll be good. I can see the dust already. I think that might be what we left. Maybe, yeah. That's just beads dust. Yeah. Just an empty beacon, beacon of two empty bags. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't say that. <laughs> What is that thing? That's uh, a broadband cable spool. Oh, yeah. Roger, of course. Yeah. IP in sight. Oh, yep. Coming down there. Okay. For now. This definitely would have landed right on top of her, couldn't it have? <laughs> There's oh, a yeah. monument over there. Yeah. There's definitely been an impact. Yeah. I don't see it yet. Well, it's not inside the IP, so there's there's something. Oh well, yeah, but it looks like it's just off to that far corner on the right. Right, yeah, yeah missed kidding? it by like wow. Like Did six it take feet? out the monument? Good thing you took out the connector, right? Oh, <laughs> right, yeah. If I was sitting there, Imagine. I would owe AJ ten bucks. <laughs> Has one. All well, right, it's over on the right here, right down here. <laughs> oh, it's on the right. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yep. Imagine we plugged it in and just hit the connector right after. Man. Yeah, that was oh, it's a perfect landing. <laughs> what? Couldn't what? get any closer. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, did one? No, it's still intact. Unreal. Can we go investigate? Yeah. Oh, we actually have to pick them up before we can. Before we deploy this uh, old CTD. Yeah, so I mean, we might as well go get a place this old CTD somewhere, do this, and then come back for the connector. Okay, where would you like to put the old CTD then? Uh, let's see if there's a note on here. Otherwise, we can um, maybe out the back end of the monument. Yeah, maybe the back end of the monument's not bad. <laughs> Look where it landed. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? It's <laughs> unreal. Oh. Hopefully, Mike is in the lounge to see his work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we bugged out. Yeah. Uh, I think it would have missed. It would have missed. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would have been funny. <laughs> I mean, the beat bags, I don't right know there. if it will do anything. 
I get tangled up in the props and... Yeah, but you got four props, don't you? Verticals? No. Oh, just the two? Just the two. Well, you got you can side thrust. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've seen you guys pull in Herc with, with Atalanta before. Yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to. Yeah, I imagine two hours of heave. What are you thinking, Dave? Just anywhere down here. Yeah. No, but uh, I thought you can't place it till you pick up a bead bag. Yeah, we're going to pick up a bead oh, bag. Oh, we got to get one bead bag first or both. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. Then we're going to put the CTD down and then. Yeah. Sorry. I'll come in here then because all the wind seems to be blowing Imagine that we way. just place the thing and then go do some work. I'll be like, what? I thought you couldn't fly with this. Well, at least we didn't have to go too far to find it. <coughs> so I feel like we're going to grab the bead bag, deploy the CDD, and then deploy the larval traps. Is that right? Yeah. Great. We'll and then somewhere here. Yeah, that's a good sequence. Get rid of this dangly cable, and then we can put the uh, bead bag in the starboard bio box too. Should be nice. And Dirk, if it's okay with you, it'd be nice to deploy the tube traps before putting the beacon in the starboard bio box, just so they don't get smashed or. Oh damaged. yeah, great idea. You can see the Herc's footprint less than a foot away from the bags, from where it was previously. All right, so what do we got rigging-wise here? So we pretty much have, uh, let me see one second. Do, 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 do. We have a pulpin at the top, or a so you can see the pulpin just, it's unfortunately, in your view, right behind here on the back end. Okay. And that releases the bungee. And is the orange pull tab that... Uh, that's just the bungee. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nothing. Sure, when you want to so it's zoom, just on the back uh, end there. You might be able to view. see it in your... There we go. Oh, I see the ring. Ringus dingus. That's it. Right here on bubble? Yeah, you don't want the ring. You want the... I want the rope loop. Rope loop. Yeah. yeah. The ring will just move the works. Yeah. Whoop. This was so, such a slick little, <laughs> as opposed to using the wire. Oh, deadly. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Might as well throw this in the forward box, I suppose. Yeah. So Come bolt on. on there. More goodies for the forward box. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'll just grab one of these bags, throw her on the porch, porch it, move on yeah. with my life. So the CTD, I think, weighs quite a bit, well, probably similar. Yeah, to somewhere. the bead bag? Yeah. I think it's less. Less. Yeah, they are the heavier CTDs, but yeah, it is less. The plastic ones weigh nothing, I guess. You're going to need that Fletcher area, right? Yeah, but I gotta get the CTD out first, and it's uh, on the. Uh, it's on the. Oh, exactly what I didn't want to do. Perfect. Let me try that again. Take two. I am excited to see how this uh, suction no. dredge works with the narrower tube. I think it's gonna be very fast. Even better. Oh well, it's the velocity is gonna be so quick, right? Right. Essentially got half the volume, flow rate, double the velocity. Here's hoping. Okay, just, what if I was doing a better job? There we go. Okay, maybe now. This time for sure. Nope, definitely not. You see why I want to put that in the starboard box. Yeah, you don't want that auto-deploying while they're flying it. No, we're not going to be able to... Sorry, let me say that differently. We will be <laughs> We will be able to fly 
without this. It's just we won't be able to operate, and it will be really, really messy and sloppy. And yeah, yeah. So can I put the CTD down right here? Um, how we far away from the platform are we? Uh, Good question. Five meters. So we can still land and do our connections? Then yes. Yes. 4.9 meters. Okay, I'll wait for a little bit of viz, then I'll grab the CTD and we'll go. Before, like, uh, just before you place it down, once you've picked yeah. it up, can we just look at the, like, the back end, the conducti conductivity cell? Like, just the port import, if you can kind of do the rotate. Uh, we can look, look at whatever you'd like, yes, yeah. absolutely. I mean, uh, it's going to go in the mud, so it might get plugged. It would be nice to know that condition before. I got enough viz for the connector, Dave, if you can line me up for that, please. Do you want me to kick out just a touch? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to anyway. Yep, yep. Make sure you smear that bead bag right off the... Oh, no. Porch. No, you got to got a eight inches or so. Yeah, that's, that's good, yeah. Yep. There we go. Go away. <laughs> See ya. Okay, now we're going to grab this white pipe. Yep. And, and show Dirk some things. I can push out a touch and Thank come you. down there for you. Okay, I'm going to bring this out front, Dirk, and then you can tell me what side you'd like to see there. Um. The bottom side, the, yeah, the side you're flipping up right now. Okay, roger that. The one with the shroudy connector un deal. Unbead bag, unbead bagged. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit of viz waiting, but. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of right in there. That little guy. Yeah, stand by. Let me come up center. Uh, I'm ready when you're ready. Zoom in, please. <coughs> Go a bit more. More zoom. Let's wait for a little bit of viz there. Okay, I'm halted. Is that enough zoom there, Dirk? I think so. I mean, can we play around with some lights to see if we can? What are you trying to Maybe see inside the hole? Right there. Just trying to see. I mean, this is pretty good, but if there's like some light tweaking we can do or something to see a little more than dons, maybe. Or you could open the iris too, blow the rest out and see inside the hole. Uh, eh, maybe not. Okay, that's good. That gives us some information. <laughs> Doesn't look, looks like there's a hole. Looks good. Yeah. All right, we can move on. You can Kay. place it on the ground here. Okay, come wide, please. And I'll take downs back on, please. Okay. I'll place it over by the connector. Yeah, uh, should be good. Right on top of the connector. Perfect. Okay. Let's do a double check on this bead bag. Can I see yep. the porch again, please? Now that the CTD's out of the way, I can get out of the way of the Fletcher. And that beacon can just kind of hang out there. I think we'll be able to find it. Well, if we can't, at least we'll find the CTD. Oh, no ring on this one. What? There was. Oh, no, you're, you're holding it. Okay. I was like, mm -hmm. huh. You go right there, little bead bag. Great. Okay. Yeah, it's Can good. I see the arm, please? It would be nice to know what's what you're going to pick up here, whether the works is going to come or... Okay, I'm, I'm good with that. That makes sense to me. I'm going to stow this, and we are good to go. What's next, Dirk? Uh, are you, you're good with just the one? Uh, I believe we so. Think we we I did we did bring another one because he's a, I said it better to be looking at it than for it. Okay, but because, uh, because we will lose two, right? Um, when we do the beat bag or the larval traps, we'll lose another ten pounds. Yes, and when we lose that, we'll come back and pick up the sonar dine beacon. Understood. Okay, let's make this connection. We'll see if we get that porch in a wee bit too. So that's good. These beat bags are kind of nice for. Like, just steel weight would be rolling around, skidding. 
These kind of just sit. As long as they don't flop off, then yeah, they're great. Like roll around. Yeah, like What's yeah. changed? All of a sudden. The video's changed a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm pulling back the blacks a little bit so you can see a little better. So if this is black. Do you want me to kill those dimes again? Yeah. I think we've been running with them on, haven't we? I think we? this is okay. No, I turned them on. For oh, yeah, well, that's yeah. why. Oh, the dams are fairly sure. washing out the stills oh, really? camera completely. I'm 80% so. um, sure we had them on the whole time. Because we were in, in the toolbox and everything. Uh, that's it. That's what we had there. Maybe. Okay. I don't think I'd be able to see anything in the toolbox with those off. I don't know. I've been wrong before. No, you might be right, man. So if I do You're this... You're just in the middle of the cloud. I bet you it's just hard to get the lighting right yeah. now. I did make a sloppy mess, so... Not my so, what's, where are we going? What are we doing? IP connector panel. Oh, that's just here. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully just around the corner still. Mm, hopefully it hasn't moved. <laughs> uh, in that case, we should have made the connection <laughs> before. But oh well. Uh, that's them, just there. Sorry, I, I should give you front porch here. For landing, taking off, all that stuff. It's all right. <coughs> I can't believe how close the speed bags were. Should we move? Maybe we should move. Yeah, mm. let's move. <laughs> well, we didn't have to. <laughs> it's, well, it might have, might have bounced off the tether BSR. Yeah, exactly. I still count that as the top of Herc. Oh, okay. That oh, yeah. still gave AJ then 10 we should, bucks. Then we should have moved. Yeah. It looks good there. Right yeah. there. Um, Try and put a little, just a little bit of forwards in. Yeah, this, nice. Pull it out. Good thinking. Okay. I have some camera right, please. I'm just gonna shake this off over here. Thank you. All right, can you brighten that up a bit, video? Thank you. Can't beat it. <laughs> Patience. It's just a little offline. Yeah. Oh, that place I shook it off was upstream. Oh. Was. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, can't win them all.
trick me that time. It seems like it's moving. It changes direction. What's that? The current. Yeah. Can I have a zoom in, please, video? Good there. I have a little camera down there, Dave. Yeah, man. Thank you. Okay, come wide, please, video. Okay, pushing, and yep. that's seated. Nope. That one doesn't have the tangs? Or does it have the tangs? I can't it tell. It should. Okay, let me try again then. It's not seated. What do you mean it doesn't have the tangs? Just kidding. Got it. I got it. Yeah, okay. I got it. We can do a zoom yeah, if would, you'd like. I would do a zoom. I'm also getting some some stills here, because that's... Great. Oh, I lost Oops, sorry. <coughs> it's hard to see from this view. I can try to line you up better and bubble. Uh, give me one second. I think I can find it here on a still. Bubble's lined up in the bar, which means it's good. <laughs> Why didn't this plugin get a fun name? Yeah, good question. Uh, we we kind of messed up. We're going to call that one Josh. <laughs> okay. Josh C, by the way. He, he asked for one. I think he asked for one for his dog. Oh, dog. That's what it was. Not for his own self. He can't do that. <laughs> I think he could ask for whatever he wants. But Fair enough. But he might not get. In this case, he didn't, I guess. Because he thought it was for him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, we just forgot. His dog's name is Angus. Every time I see a new connector, I think we're happy with that. That's connected. That's fine. Great. Okay, um, Ulrike, can you get systems to try and power J3? Can we go dig a hole now? We can uh, oh, put the so parking close, position away. But uh, parking position, and then we got to do larval traps. Yeah. And then we pick up that last bee bag. You just really want to dig your hole. I want to dig a hole. Oh, you wanna, do you want to dig a hole? Is, yeah, he's running out of time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you just want to test it. That's You don't want to actually do all the digging. No, no. Just the testing. Ideally, it goes a shift change where half the shift, you know, you yeah, do yeah, half yeah. of it, and then you get bored, then the next people come well, in. You'll do the nice, like, right at the top before you reach the sensor, just sucking up beads. And then, yeah. That's going to be fun, though. Get out of here, little hoser. The nice part is you have a guaranteed <laughs> unclogged um, system. Yes, that's true. They tend to clog halfway through the operations. The nice thing for them is they can blame us for messing it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a win-win. Yeah, absolutely. You made my trip, Trevor, by saying hoser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, all, that's all I want. That was on my bucket list. Just a little. What did he say? Hoser. That is not something Canadians actually say, by the no. way. No, okay. I just threw you a bone. <laughs> you said hoser or hosed? Hoser, because of the... We definitely say hosed, but I was talking about the hose. So I called it a hoser. Oh, yeah. Just for the Yanks. Worked it in there. Okay, so the staples are never going to come out, so <laughs> that's fine. Sounds like a next shift problem. Right. See ya. Hey, what? Come on. <laughs> you got sticky pucks now, Dirk? Sticky pucks. Uh, it's magnetic. Magno puck. Sticking to the aluminum. Oop. Didn't want that. Let's go away. Yep. Okay. Oh, go. Larval traps. All right. Where are they going? Fabio, <coughs> this is you. Um, they should go to the same location as the 
other uh, traps are. Okay, and those are far yeah. side of the CTD monument. side of the... Yeah. Just to make our lives easier um, every year. That's all right. Yeah, so we don't have plan. to re-map uh, them. <coughs> the real trick is making sure you forget which are the new ones, which are the old ones, and just grab them at random to recover. Oh, There's yeah, a giant one. number and then 32 and 33. The other ones are, I think it's 21 and 22 or 2021. 20, oh, and after this, it's unburied the seismometer. Cool. Once we deploy the larval traps, I'll put the bead bag over in the side and then uh, we'll see how our weight is and see if we want to grab the beacon as well. Okay. Yeah, because we're going to be doing a lot of sitting, eh? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to switch some tool cams around for you, Dave. Get over yep. to the starboard side. And I'm going to do dive salvo. And I'm going to do front porch. Just a lot of stuff going on with cameras right now. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So the traps are in front of me, aren't they? Uh, there's two right. right. To your right, yeah. Still more, I think, okay. uh, you, we saw them before. When you just look slightly right, you can see these little white boxes. There, there. Got them. Thank you. And did you, do we, I can't remember. Do we need to pick these hovering? Um, hold on. I don't, uh, Fabio, or no, we're not picking them up. We're, we're just putting the new right ones now, out. Yeah. So don't, I wouldn't go yeah. too close. Maybe go to the right so that we don't, yeah, make yeah, too much of a mess. Whichever way the... If I go to the right of them, the sediment that we cr create is going to blow down over them. Okay, can we, we can go to the left then? Yeah, can yeah. we go to the left? Yeah, but Whichever way we're not going to contaminate this something. Something. Whichever way doesn't bonk the monuments too. Yeah, that too. Hard mode. Monuments should be right there. Yeah, just shoot the gap. Shoot the gap. And the current is going which direction? Sort of blowing across Back towards to the, the monuments. IP. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, in for like a spot five meters to the left or something of that, or wherever five yeah, that, meters down current. Yeah, somewhere. that cable kind of thing. Yeah, I'd kind of, I'd be more tempted to go over towards the cable. Yeah, that's fine. That cable runs to. Get that map. And come down a delta bit. We're a bit stretched out. Yep. Hi, Megan. Hi. Once we deploy those lava traps, could you give me some coordinates, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Can't wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to. You're, yeah, you're going to have to wait. Man, like a little child on Christmas. <laughs> Somewhere here. Bobby, you're happy? Sounds good. So the first step is from once you're stable, Dave, I gotta reach around the side and get him out. So So we stand in the air, yeah? That's up to the back row. Uh yeah. we don't need to stay in the air, these Okay. You can pass the he wants okay. to yeah, pass the cable. Yeah, let's go on the other side of the yeah, cable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um it's uh you don't need to stay in the air for this. Uh, Roger. We want to locate them easily next time, so. Yeah, they yeah, do have caps on them, so. This is probably fine right here, yeah. I wonder what these old tire ruts are from.
Okay. Good to go, mate. Uh, do you want the sample salvo? Samples. No, that's fine, but you can give me sample tray out. Yep. Grip is in fact locked. All right, bud. Jump in, are you? Can I have camera right, please? Yep. Get off. Fabio, are they just like a few meters apart or a couple meters yeah, meter apart? Yeah, that's fine. I'm happy as a clam. Touchdown. Hey, the other one, one meter away from that? Yeah, a couple meters. That's good. A meter, a couple meters. Do you want a picture of your trap? Why not? Some cool bioturbation features there. Some yeah, there you go, Fabio. Gracias. This is the highest. Seem intact. Oh, that one has a little bit of back pressure. Uh, probably does. That's some air in there. I guess. Some leak. Yeah. I don't know if any air would have resisted. <laughs> no, it just had air, so it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the other ones, I guess, you had more full or had a air like a leak. The thing is, those tubes are really bloody hard to fill with the chemical. Okay, where would you like this one? How about right, right here? Right there. Right there. That's here a we good go. Spot. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna put the bead bag in the starboard side, and then we should be off to the races. <coughs> Josh, there once you're square there, can I please get the uh, can I please get the bead bag in view? Megan. Hmm? Yep. Thank you. <laughs> I've waited long enough for my coordinates. <laughs> Patience, patience. <laughs> this one does not have the nice big duct tape handle. Yeah, it's only held on by that little bit of tape, I guess. So yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, no knot. Yeah. Oh. Going all the way Thank around. You. Got yeah, I'm gonna put it in the starboard box. Awesome. Raj, shoot out. Raj, Raj. They might need to deploy it before recovery I'm with the, the two camera. camera. Uh, I'm using it. Roger. Using the uh, other camera on that channel. Roger, Roger. You call it the fun camera? Uh, it's the first thing that came to mind. Cool. Let me just. Drag this all over everything first, and then finally put it in the starboard box. Oh, 
those little tails are probably great for the thrusters. That's fine. Thruster tails. Thruster tails. Okay. You can close that box. There we go. Probably I'll change some more settings. That's pretty good, huh? Somebody wow. make a note in the red book. Look at those rollers, or why is it so slow? Deep. Okay. It's out of focus for this other cool. one. Hell. Yeah, it could be. I guess it is heavy, yeah. Okay, so you're happy with those? Oh, buddy. <laughs> so must be your favorite thing to do, hey Trevor? What's that? These these larval traps. They're fine. It's just check, check. Done, move on. Next oh, there's no puzzle to it, though. Yeah, but it's, it's a nice checkbox. It's uh, like turning on the CPU. You're the one that likes the really easy stuff. Yeah. Mark. We I like the challenging stuff. Oh. He likes checking boxes, too. Yeah, oh, he he's a great, checks. great box so checker. So satisfying. Just yeah. go check. Well done, guys. Here's a challenge for you. <laughs> Systems confirmed that we powered on the CTD and started the driver, but we're still waiting for data. Oh. I mean, sounds like it works. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Next thing is uh, we want to collect that other bead bag. Well, Maybe I think the next beacon? step is yeah, is Josh will come up and fly and see if he wants to collect that other beacon or bead bag. Okay. Are we doing 10 million beacons again? Steered me wrong, Jim. No, we're just, uh, we got weight to balance out that CTD and tube traps, and we'll see if we need a bit more. You've got all yeah. the weight you want. Whole smorgasbord. Yeah. We got zero tube traps now. We got zero CTDs. We got zero seismometers. One bead bag. Minus 73 is probably what we are. So we're super heavy is what you're saying? No. Okay. It's on the lighter side of okay, but still totally manageable. Uh, where's Here, there? this area is good to be pretty light. Great. Because every then, time you sit down, you get stuck. Yeah, we can grab nothing if you want. Well, as long as it makes Dirk wrong, <laughs> then yeah. That's what I want. Even, I'm not even listening, so. Good thinking. Yeah, Smart. pretty standard. <coughs> Okay, am I doing anything wrong? No, it just needs to wiggle. A little touch there, and we should wiggle up. Yeah, there we go. Where am I going, Dirk? You are going to the... Are you, guy, are you good for a ballast? Is that what you said? After all that? I don't know. Sure. Okay, so we want to go... It says here to go collect the broadband, but... I don't know. I think we should leave it and then go to the broadband seismometer site. Where am I going, Megan? Or to the aux platform? Which, yeah. Yes, aux platform over here. Over here. Where's over here? Uh, give me a second. Roger. I'm going to measure it for okay. you. Okay. Okay. It's about 75 meters. Uh, one zero five. One zero five. What's the best way to go? Are we going to need Don't a ship move for that, Megan? Otherwise, yeah, we'll we might want to pick up the broadband then. Where's that at? That's at the IP. Hold on. They might want to do something before we go. <laughs> Where is the IP? Yep. It is over here. Yep, it's behind you. Look at all those rat tails. Just like hiding behind us. Oh, turn faster, Jim. Yeah. Roger. Yeah, turn faster. Roger, roger. We should have enough ballast to be able to pick that oh, yeah. BBS, yeah. even yeah. with that bead bag. We're perfect. <coughs> It'll still be minus 12, 12 point. And we put that on this side here, right? Derek, is it okay that that cable's so. We'll put it on this side. Mid water? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's just, a, just an ROV trap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, we trap. Oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. So. If only we had staples. Yeah, if only we had staples. I don't think a staple will hold. Like, I don't think it's got that really the scope. They're just going to make it tighter. Raj. Uh, ROV, seems watch out. like the wrong... Watch out? What do you mean, watch out? For that uh, trip hazard. What? Just, just fly <laughs> just ignore him. You trying to make jokes back there? Just making conversation. <laughs>
That is a pretty funny joke, though. Hey, watch out for that trap. That's not near you. Uh, Fabio, oh, how I did those sediment uh, traps work? Yeah, it's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? How did the sediment traps work? It's funny to me. Uh, those are not sediment traps. Oh, the they ones are that we just Larval. Placed? Oh, larval traps. Larval traps, yeah. Those are to sample meroplankton. So just like passively, uh, passively uh, drifting and settling uh, larval organisms. So Lar do you I suppose I should come up with my delta like next year or something. Yeah, do whatever one you year. want. I'm coming down. Okay, I'm also coming up. I feel like the last thing I did before I got out of this chair was put this thing down. Now I'm back in and I'm picking it up. Good work. Is it? <coughs> or if you just well, held on to it. have like a nice circular. Watch, you know? You, you, hey, you're getting things done. Closure. Leaving stuff. Closure. Guess what? The last time I did this, I also landed like a not Picasso picture. smoothly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can take a picture of this. Done. Might have to porch in just a touch to. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> Slow down, right? Mm -hmm. It's funny because you're going really slow. Mm hmm. So how's your cruise going, Dirk? I feel like we don't get to Bonk, talk anymore. sorry. I know, hey? We'd be sick of each other by now, normally, on a regular cruise. No, no, I'm still sick of you, but um, I can be cordial still. Cordial? Um, it's. I think it's going well. It's been slow and steady and just getting things done. It's been pretty good. How's your off time going? How's your battle with, uh, with Doug? Bugs? Um, Doug and bugs. Doug, Doug bugs. Oh, you're still on Doug. Yeah, Doug... It's going well. Wait, six four last I saw. Still four. six four. Still six four, yeah. What are you doing? Crib, on the other hand. Oh, you're getting killed. Uh, I think we're. Well, do you consider a win? If Zoom I in, please. Video. Two out of three. Like if Mike keeps winning, Doug keeps losing. I'm, I'm in the middle. Good there, thanks. That's the question. What about me, Dirk? I beat you this morning. Well. He wasn't. He was asking about mine, Doug's thing. I, oh. Well, no. Then you said crib, and then I, oh, yeah, in yeah. general, what's your crib record on the ship? Oh, it's bad. I've, I'm on the. I'm on the board for the skunk. Okay, come wide, please. I knew something smelled in here. Yeah, that's my crib game. <laughs> <laughs> Counting's tough. With bugs, let me tell ya. Killing it at bugs, eh? Killing it. We gotta get a bugs game in, Dirk. I know. Now yes. that I'm all spun up. I can get Are you Are you all. spun up? Oh, oh, I'm two for three, baby. I'll get you spun up. At but bugs? Yeah. yeah. What am I doing, flying? Going over to the broadband seismometer site, yeah. And that's again 105, Megan? Yeah. And this is gonna create a bunch of dust. Mm -hmm. Dusty dust. How's your cruise going, Josh? Um, kind of busy right now, table. Dirk, trying to do some <laughs> professional here. Okay. Can so not bother sums, me. That sums it up right there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't miss this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 105. I Room. didn't miss this. I love that. <laughs> that is amazing. Hey, Dirk slash Josh, how do you feel about me shaking some of this muck off here? I'm well, doing it for you. Kay. I'm indifferent. It's probably you don't better care. not to just not I am indifferent. It. Shake it? The seismometer is no. meant to be shook. Isn't that the point of it? No, maybe don't shake it. Oh. I'm shaking it. Thank you. Just a gentle breeze is what it needs. Okay. Gentle breeze? <laughs> 
I mean, this is just fewer bee bags we're going to Coming pretty near uh, you. Yeah, I should come up. Um. Hauling in. <clears throat> Broad, where are we going? BBS, right over there? It's OBS auxiliary. But it's, but it's offset again, again, is that right? It might be. Might be, Roger. There's no way to know. There's no way to do this wrong. <coughs> Just gonna go in this general direction until we find it. Someone's asking about the bugs game. It's just a tile game, right? The bugs uh, is also known as Hive by its trade name. Oh, okay. Just colloquially, bugs. It's like mahjong mixed with chess, but only the tile aspect. You can also say dominoes mixed with chess. Hmm. Really, it's a really good game. I am pretty much neutral with this thing. Yeah, right on. Minus 12 is, I mean, what's the margin of error on this thing? I don't know. On your spreadsheet? The spreadsheet, on yeah. Your spreadsheet with a thousand things on it? Yeah, probably 12 pounds on a 6,500 pound vehicle. I think that's pretty good. Seem better, but. Heavy though? <laughs> no, never, not even close. <laughs> don't even have one. Oh, someone else asked, how much weight can Hercules lift off the ocean floor? With its thrusters? It's a complicated question, yeah. About 120 pounds, yes. Yeah. Ish. Ish. Uh, when we're neutrally buoyant. Um, with the manipulators, uh, if you're sitting on the seafloor, I believe the craft can lift a couple hundred pounds at least. Yeah, I think the limiting factor on this is the rest of the vehicle, the way it attaches to the craft. The arm itself is stronger than the tipping the vehicle or how it's mounted, et cetera, et cetera. So to say our specs would not be doing craft justice. Right. Okay, um, anything in, I guess we're not gonna see anything sonar? Are we gonna see anything sonar? What are we looking for? You're looking for a auxiliary platform and a broadband, broadband seismometer. You won't see the broadband seismometer on the, on the <coughs> sonar, it's buried. That auxiliary platform that I saw a million here. times when I was- 10 meters away? When I was looking Why couldn't we have followed the cable? E -banks? Is that an option that Dirk didn't tell me? Oh, well, okay, I'll, I'll be more point by point. Oh, yeah, There's something 10 meters ahead. Roger. It's right well, on now. It's about where the thing says on the nav screen, so. That yeah. seems weird. What is, there that it looks is. Like, that looks like a thing. There's it's definitely something. a thing. What's that? It's a big tall thing. Great. Love that. Uh, that looks like a weight. Drum is it a campfire weight? ring? No, it looks like a brake drum. That's what I said, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let me get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. It's not on our map, so this is good to map it. It's right there. Anything else on sonar? Mm, no. There are you. So that cable goes perfectly east-west from the IP. So, so I should go north or south to find it? So are you north right now are you north or south of the IP? Uh just south. Well, I don't know, right in line. Uh, you are looks like South. I'm south of it. Okay, so maybe yeah. head north and you'll uh, cross, can't the, I? cross the cable. Okay. The old elbow action is acting up again, I guess. It looks like it and yeah, I should have won it. So that's uh yeah, we don't have that's fun. Eight. Yeah. Uh, okay. That did not happen on my record side, so I don't know. What Telestrator. That was. Oh. It wasn't on ours either. Yeah. Okay. Top. How far away are we from the IP right now? <coughs> I'm stretched. Uh, we are about 60 meters away. Okay, so we won't see the cable. The aux platform is 50 meters away. Oh, went too far? Yeah, we're a little too far, yeah. Back the way we Kind of near, the, probably near the broadband, but the cable to the broadband might not be reliable to follow. Going the wrong way.
Take your bubble cam. Gauge check. Yeah, try a little further north. Yeah, I was just trying to come back to the IP first, but okay. I accidentally went a little south, but we're fine. Dee -dee -dee. Cool. Well, there's a thing. Where, where, where? Hey, uh, Pete. What thing? Telestrator's down. Oh, in the solar. Okay, thank you. Following sonar. Hey, Dirk, do you have the telestrator up in front of you? Yeah, it's your... just drawing is disconnected. Okay. Dig it in. All I got is, it's not updating. It's a frozen screen. Hey, but Roger. It's still draw. <laughs> That's all that's important. <laughs> it's not if you guys aren't even seeing it. Oh, you're coming back towards me. Whoops, sorry. Sorry, I should have said No, nope, I should have been watching, too. Uh, Tunnel vision here. Coming okay, up. Now I'm going due north, Dirk. Yeah. I'm like 30 meters from the IP now. Yeah, that's perfect. Orange Camel cable, stop green there. Cable. It's oily, so it should be a orange cable. There it is. Oh no. Turn right. Yeah. Turn Take turn. a right at the cable. Take a right on Cable Drive. Then I don't know. We don't have any information on the what lo looks like past the auxiliary platform, so can't tell you from there. Roger. Is that it? That looks like it, yeah. Neat. That's so many auxiliary platforms on this trip. Yeah. Oh, and a beat bag. That would have been nice. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, yeah. good gravy. It was right there the whole time. I thought there was no bead bags left. You're killing me, Dirk. I, you know, I wonder if that's when we dropped off the back of the ship. Uh, no, it's it looks not. yellow, so I would say no. Oh, we dropped orange ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What am I doing, Dirk? Okay, so you're going to follow this to, just hang out here for one second. Roger. We're going to follow this to um, to the east, or to the, yeah, to the east, and about, I'm just looking at how long this is, 17 meters away, there should be a caisson. There should be a cable going towards the east. The green one there coming off of that? Uh, no, yeah, that one, it meets up with a black cable and then goes into a yeah, it's just buried. Okay, interesting. Oh, I see it's squirreling out off to the right oh, there. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's behind the white hose. Right behind the hose, right behind, behind the, the broadband. Yeah, it's straight right ahead. Right there. Lovely. That's the one. Am I going to be able to? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I see some staples. More oh, staples. It should be at 17 meters from the other one. Is that the last of it? Nope, over there, yeah. Where are you? There's more. There's more. Do you see any more past this? Yeah, just underneath the white wire wrap. Yeah, 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 but beyond that. <coughs> uh, can we just land here for a second, just, uh, just so we make some uh, RV tracks? And you want to make them? Well, I like want to mark here because now we want to put the broadband off to the side. Sure. Like maybe so, but so that we can kind of circle around this thing without hitting it. So, so you want to put the broadband down here? No, not here. But I want to put it down like seven meters from here in, in a direction. Is this the case on? Oh, that's the lid, right? With the little monkey's fist hanging up. It might be. So I just want to mark the spot. So if we move away and come back, we can easily find it. Okay. But I want to mark it with like an ROV track. <laughs> Roger. We're using the ROV as a marker tool now. That's yeah. cool. Um, how do you pull up the... So this crashed. It just crashed on us. Telestrator. Yeah, that monkey's fist seems like it's probably the lid. That telestrator. That's really buried. So this yeah. just shut down on its own. How do I pull up the normal presets that you had here? So there's two telestrators. This one and Okay. And that's this one? Yeah, I think this is this. Okay. Yeah. All right. If you've landed, that's good enough. 
If you've made a track, okay. I don't know Copy if you've that. touched yep. the bottom. Yep. So yes, we're down. You saw it go dark. The cover's taken off. Dark, okay, so did that um, Josh, if you could just navigate back to the aux platform, now that we know where this is. I think it's just better to go put this over there. Okay. Hard, harder to lose, yeah. Can I watch the sea cucumber for a few hours? That's amazing. <laughs> <coughs> don't you wish you could swim like that? I do <laughs> swim like that. <laughs> and I'm about as effective. You don't swim like that? Why am I? It froze. Either it just stopped moving or we're frozen. Okay. No, no. I think you well, I did stop moving. The telestrator at the top. The telestrator on the top screen yeah. is what he's talking about. Don't worry about it, Josh. Uh, Video's on it. They're troubleshooting. There we Copy go. that. Yeah, I haven't. Oh, he's riding your Eddie. Around with this at all. So <laughs> this is as fast as he's ever gone. That's paleopotides, right? Yep. Paleopotides. And psychotropes are just on the same frame. So you have to <sighs> shut down the client before when, or when you reboot this. Doesn't matter. Yep. Okay. Ox platform. Ox. So we're gonna put this down somewhere here? Yeah, we wanna put it down. Um, maybe even right right here. Is not a okay. bad spot. We don't want it right where we're trying to work, so. Yeah, agreed. And away from the cable, too. Here? Yeah, that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah, they're navigating, so. All right, we can place this down here. Okay. Sweet. Okay, and now next step is to go to the aux platform when we have to first turn the battery off to this thing. Yeah, I gotta pull that out. Touch it. Okay, craft is secure. You can start flying. I'll stow this thing. Roger. <coughs> this thing. Thank you, sir. Where's the battery, Dirk? On this thing. Um. It will be on the left-hand side of that frame. Uh, so, all right, and the spinny bit is on. So, where's is this on the router somewhere? This. Okay, so. So if I draw on here, does it show up there? Yep. Okay, so both of us can, okay, okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Did you need to do something here? I don't know what this dark thing is. Yeah, what is that thing? I don't know. It's like a plastic bag. Yeah, I agree. Black plastic bag. Look, there's part of a Fletcher plate down there too. Yeah. <coughs> Those sorts of goodies. What the? Yeah, the bag. The What's bag's going on here? Weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's an old A-frame? I don't know what All sorts is. of good ballast over here, Dirk. I have no idea what this is. Yeah, total plastic bag. So we're flipping the battery off, is that correct? Uh, yeah. Right now it's on. Okay. Roger that. Yeah, get out of there. So we'll see. I think you just pull it towards you. Okay. Oh, no, the handles at the uh, first what? unclip it. So first, do this guy. Yep. You can see what we're dealing with. Okay.
Oop, hello. Clean the dust off first. That was my that was nice. intended first step. Really definitely. clean. Yeah. Ooh, that's tight. Okay. Yeah. Remember when we talked about length of bungee? That one's about this long. This one has a bungee that holds it up. You can see the blue there? But yep. I don't think it's Does it hold it up? No. I think it's lost its elasticity. Okay, Dirk, what would you like to do? Uh, can you open this? Yep. <laughs> now what? Uh, is that as far <laughs> as it goes? Yeah, buddy. I'll try again, but... Uh, it might not be a problem. Just uh, yeah, the one more time. But the battery will hold it open. Oh, that's all the way-ish. Yeah, all there. the way-ish. Mm -hmm. Auto deploy. Okay. So I'm going to grab this red handle and lift it up. Is that correct? Yeah, that's really looks like our only option. Now, some of these are only 90 degrees and some are full 180. So I think this might be a full 181. Jeb's also here, so Jeb just. Uh, Hope this gets caught on top of that pipe. Oh, That'd it be will. Neat. Yeah, that's. But nothing. maybe it just stays? Yeah, there we go. Can we, like, combo something? Hey, I'm not sure about this one in particular. We might be able to see some markings on the connector end cap or maybe on the top. I'll get it at least 90 for now, and then we can reassess. That sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any markings yet, so I did see the on. Yeah, I think this one's from um, the 20. What are you doing, Lid? Go away. But you're oh, going to thank that that's Lid for closing by itself later. No, I'm not. Might, you can do the pucks. Oh, there's probably. pucks. Yeah. Yeah, but I still got to get this thing up, right? So like. No, yeah. no, I think you're good at this point. Okay, we're at 90 or so. Yeah, keep going. But you're gonna have to use the pucks, I think. Uh, you're gonna have to use. You're the gonna pucks. have to use a puck, sir. Going to 180 then? Yeah. Do you, yeah. yeah, I think I see some. That's maybe good. Yeah. That's off. Off. Hold on, I'm stuck. Is that right, Dirk? You see yeah. off there? Yeah, I yeah. see off. Neat. Oh, okay. Good. There oh. we go. Now I'm not stuck. Maybe I should just listen to the client and use the pucks. <laughs> yeah, he's very. Sorry, stubbornness. Off. It oh. says right there. Off. All right, we're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's nice shake at it. Just uh, pointing at you. Shake. Close it up again. What do you mean close Lock it up? Lock the battery. Okay. I thought that was for deployment. Oh, yeah. Actually, you don't need to do that. Can you land in front of the connector We panel? did it yesterday, and Martin, he's a man what, what was very happy to have it locked down again. Yeah, but we're going to turn this back on during this dive. Okay. Arm secure. All right. <coughs> You're welcome. Oh, thank you at the end. <laughs> Smart. That's like that's a. He's seen this before. Dirk's seen this before. Huh? <laughs> Couldn't get him. Couldn't yeah, get that him. was a. It's a good call, Dirk. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> next set. The end of his life. To the broadband yeah. size monitor site. Okay. Oh, not going to the connector panel. No, it's broadband. Broadband. So wait. Uh, is that the thing with the plate cover that's mostly buried? Yeah. Right over there? Yeah, that's it. Roger. So I'm just following the dive plan here. Good man. That's what you're paid to do. Technically, it's kind of what you're paid to do as well. <laughs> no, Good I'm point. paid to do whatever you say. Which is the dive plan. What if you say something different than the dive plan? Who should we follow? Oh, Him. Well, like, you guys don't Him. read the dive plan. Dive chief. Either. Oh, I know the dive I plan memorized by it. heart. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, why am I here? We've been asking that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that softball he gave you there. Yeah, he yeah, lobbed that I in. Go, I want to get the ball rolling. <laughs> He's a little rusty. <laughs> rusty ball rolling. So, looking for a Barry's monkey's fist sticking out. Yeah, or ROV tracks. Um, Those ones? Next step, I think we are pretty much ready to put the lower the bead bags over the side as well because we're going to be working here for a while. As long as you can land them right on the top of Herc again, that's fine. Uh, <coughs> I can't promise that. We want them next to the caisson though. Are we uh, lowering them on the wire? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll have to get set up for that then. The ship is not in a spot for that. We can put the vehicle down and then adjust the ship accordingly, but right now we're not in a spot uh, we want to do that. I'm okay. officially lost. It's, it's right underneath left. the end left. Yeah. Just Underneath spin. me? Spin, just spin. It's like right the there on bubble. And back up just a little bit. I mean, if we play our... Oh, I don't know. Where? Maybe more. More, more. I think the ship's okay. I mean, we could always move the ship a little bit to get them to land exactly where we want. 
for two wire? Yeah, I want. Uh, hmm. There's the monkey's fist. What are we doing with it? Just sitting? We're just going to sit there, yeah. Deploy B-Bites, return to progress. I mean, it'll probably settle out over here. Over, sorry. Um, oh, you're on it. I'll I probably, can... Yeah, it'll probably settle out over here, but we can always <coughs> make the ship move nearer to the bottom. Yeah, if you want to think about yeah. it. Yeah. We're not going to land it with the vehicle on the bottom, but we can get it, you know, a little cl closer to the bottom with the vehicle dredging. And then when it comes to land, we'll come up, find it, and land it. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah. If uh, you want to think it through, Trevor, to have a think. Yeah, I do. Um, what do you think? What do you say? Okay, so what what's the deal? There, Megan? Well, yeah, sorry, you go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah, just say what you said again there, Megan. Um, well, so after we it, lower it down, it'll settle out somewhere over here. Right. Um, and then we can just move this <coughs> ship up to where we want to land it. It would be nice if we could land we can have the expected landing zone like here okay so it's in front of Herc. okay so and you, yeah you want me to move atalanta over there i would like you to move where you expect the expected landing zone to be due what is that due east, east where of where Herc is, up right where now? is yeah so okay. atalanta will be a bit a nor bit north of there i guess okay i think or a bit um. you know what i'm saying okay. so the question is with this move, can we still be excavating while we're lowering this down? Yeah, I think so. Yes. We shouldn't be too far yeah. away. Perfect. We won't land it while excavating. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's that's great. First step, remove the lid, Dirk. Uh, well, if you can back up a little bit, I just want to make sure that there's no, like, staple right near this cable where we're sitting at. <coughs> On the left there? Yeah, just, we can just back is up a little Is that a staple, bit. actually, or is that a lid? I uh, don't know. It looks like a staple, doesn't it? Can I can I poke yeah, at it to I see what it, it is? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's not a lid. Or maybe it's just like a staple of some mud on it, or an enemy. It's closed up or something. Make sure you tickle that an enemy. Oh, it's an enemy. Oh, it's a staple. Pull it out. If it is a staple, I'm not still not sure what it is. Okay, it's a ring to a case on lid, probably. Okay, yeah. I'm not pulling it out. I'm just gonna yeah. get it centered. Uh, it doesn't look no, that's a like staple. it attached to anything. That's cool. a pull pin? Pull pin. So we're Great. no wiser. Put it in the junk drawer. Yeah, let's throw it up front, please. Yeah, Dirk, I don't think we, we use any lids on the deployed instruments. It's just to protect caissons that aren't uh, yet Okay, populated. so we're not looking for a lid. Okay, good. So. Science sample there, too. Oh, Thank you. There's an enemy for you, Fabio. <laughs> you want a sample number on that? Sample number? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Definitely not. So, um, <laughs> what we can do, since there is no cable sticking out, can you do the arm under the cable and yeah, gently I'm see if we can... S or we can just suck it away. But we, just we, get, this we don't want to plug our thingy. This attached to black cable, right? There should be some black cable involved in this. Yeah. yeah so this is weird. Yeah, it's like four cables come together as one. Yeah, so this is not all the cables. But the black cables seem to have all have sunk. Uh, what would you like me to do? It does look like there's a bit of beads there, doesn't it? It's a little lighter. Yeah, <laughs> I think this is where it's coming out, yeah. Can we try and suction some right here? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Here waiting. we go. I As thought long? you'd never ask, Dirk. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm just going to get the deck guys going on uh okay give me that suck how much you want oh buddy I don't know there's 40 this is my the worst grip I've ever done. You can smear it. Yeah, I can, but oh, look at that thing. 
thing sucks. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. That's terrible. That was not my best work. This is your best work. This is going see, that's great. the type of joke I would have made, so. <laughs> I laughed at it. Okay, I should smear. You can keep sucking or not. Not sucking. Roger. Uh, can I see more of the porch, please? Yeah, that's good there. Good enough for now. Nope, terrible. Terrible. You know, smeared it? You know, like no, I don't think so. So fond of a good schmear. I know. Usually I am too. I'm just not feeling it right now. I'm feeling it. I'm not feeling it. It's oh, totally you know what? With the springiness, I think I am feeling it all of a sudden. <laughs> all of a sudden. Suddenly that it's <laughs> suddenly you know, suddenly that I came to that solution on my own, and not because you said it. I'm kidding. Oh, terrible. Okay, let's run with it. Ah, <laughs> uh, suck. Right, right. Yep. All right. What percent were you at? Fifty. Nice. When was this thing deployed? Fifty again. Cool. No, I don't know. All right. Anna Lent is going to start passing I'll over look her. It up. Roger. Uh, Thirty-five meter delta. You happy? Sure. <coughs> I see the lazy loops. We look okay. Um, do I say it's going to justify my existence by putting another meter up. Can I have some zoom in, please, video? Thank you. Good there. Oh, yeah, this thing works a treat. Hey, there's your other cables there, Dirk. Yeah. Dirk, this one went in in August of 2021. 2021, August. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to follow it, so... Uh, every this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen you do. <laughs> this? Well, just the way he was, like, oh. perfectly following the cables and unburying them. It's oh. amazing. Okay, hold up there for it's a like it's his own arm. Can you, um... Dirk, are you talking to me? Uh, yeah, that's another one. Not there if you're muted. I'm not muted, though. Now Should you are or not. Um, we're just trying to follow the cable, so I don't know... Yeah, can you maybe get... Either turn the suction off and get this underneath the cable bundle and just kind of lift up and see... So I don't really want to use this for nuzzling, because then it'll plug. Okay. I would ha be happier to do it slowly with it sucking and then work my way under. Just, Up yeah. to you, though. Maybe just use your arm for it. Okay, you want me to stow this? Yeah. Come wide, please, video. You can stop the suck. It stopped. Uh, no, it's not. No. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh. Oh, swing and a miss. Can I get a zoom in, please, video? And can you line me up on that a little more? I can't go any more right. Okay, Roger. Then you're good there, Pete. <clears throat> How am I ever going to sheath this again? Unsheathable. Well, I have to wait. Yeah, I just don't want to suck up too many sticks of these sticks at the surface with it if we're not uh, even emptying the case on. Okay, wait, no this. The case on will be really easy to, <laughs> to vacuum since it's just for, uh, glass, or glass beads. So not a lot of like debris. So I don't want to spent too much time sucking debris up there. The Roger. one we did in uh, Strait of Georgia was just absolutely clogged with Did you grass. see it come apart? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty neat. Like an old drain. Yeah. Ugh. Just like an old drain. <laughs> Filled with seast. My sea drain. My sea. Mm -hmm. 
I'm surprised by the amount of sediment. In Barkley, we easily find these things every time. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, this is 2021. Okay, come this wide, was please. Like, that's two years ago. Look at all this sediment. And what would you like me to do, Dirk? Nuzzle underneath this? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is going to have staples on it. Okay. Nuzzling. Every so often, but... Uh... Just like so? Yeah, but I'd like to see the cable go in its direction. Yeah, we don't have that. Can't have everything you want, Dirk. And maybe if you could do a closed jaw as well. Well, you can Remember? see it Closed moved. jaw, really? You can see the way it moved oh. over there. I was thinking with the top of your... Um, no, no, close your jaw first. Oh. It's less scoopy. Um, if you'd prefer that, I can do it, but it's less scoopy. Yeah, it's more I, likely to run off. Yeah. This is more got the like the yeah, serrations, you know what I mean? I can right, see sure. it trail off yeah. there. It's just behind the hose. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I'm not going to close the jaws on this. Okay, now close. Okay, stop there. Okay. I think we need to scooch up. You can see where it's see going. See where it's going? Yep. Yeah. Roger. Scooching. Okay, arm is stowed and secure. <coughs> Make it how far away from the auxiliary platform are we right now? Um, not very far at all. It looks like 12 meters. Can we get a sonar maybe just to ch confirm that if that? Do you want us to turn back towards that aux platform? Yeah, because we're. It, I mean. That this thing says 17 meters, so I think we just keep following this cable until it. Oh, look at shows. that ice pod! Anybody see in the sonar there on the no, left? It's farther left, I think. Really? Yeah, further. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I don't uh, want to lose this. Yeah, Dirk, I think we should follow the cable before we lose it. Okay, sure. Sit down. Two nine zero. Yeah. Yeah, have a sit there. Oh yeah, there it is, 12 meters away. Okay, perfect. Did you see it? Oh, there, yeah. Oh, the okay, we got cable there. Yep. That's Land good. and do another scoop. Yep. I'm going to go quicker so that we get there before the viz goes. Mm, good luck. Thank you. I'm also not going to go super deep in here because it's not great for the manip. Okay, that's about as much digging as I want to do. Well, I think you're it's back, back behind in, it, yeah. Yeah, back okay. towards the vehicle. Hmm, can't see. Yeah, we got to wait on Viz now. If we're going to wait Viz, can we turn kind of in the direction of the cable so we can see where it's going or how much we're lifting? We're kind of lifting blind at this angle. Yeah. Next time, maybe tell me that before I land her. Oh, I thought, all right. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but, you know. Well, I just wanted, you know, I can establish how much guidance you need. So, learning. A lot. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on that. <laughs> so Dave's much. sitting here, actually. His job right now is to hold Josh's hand. Oh yeah, we've moved. That's right. I'm no longer right on top. Yeah, I can tell from the still camera that you're sitting pretty much on top of it, the porch. So you want me to scooch back? I think so, yeah. Well. <coughs> As we'll do it now. I'm just going to have to wait for Viz anyways. Yeah, I can now just start to see it on the left side there. No. Psst. Yeah, in your in your bubble cam, Trevor, you can see it, or in the um, stills camera. So if your bubble cam is just towards the port side a bit, it's right in front of your porch. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Don't keep going or anything. No, no. Only when you don't want it to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Parallel to the porch, you think, Dirk? Yeah. I'm keeping a little view there in bubble. Roger that. Thank you. Ah, it's deeper than I want to go. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Suck, suck. Yeah. I got to make a huge mess first. Get the dirt out before it gets all wedged into the Celios? bushings. And yeah, seals. Okay. yeah. Let's, let's use the tube then. Okay, we're going to be waiting a minute. Roger. Is there a reason we're not trying to fly to the end of where we think this is going and well, just look around? Well, that's why I wanted to get the sonar so we can just go and see at 17 meters where it's supposed to be. But then we decided on following, keep doing this, right? I thought I didn't realize you wanted to go 17 meters away. I thought you just wanted to I turn you wanted and to see how far away we were. Yeah, I misunderstood that yeah, too. Yeah, we need to work on our communication. Yeah, yeah. I okay. would, if I, yeah, if it were up to me, I'd go 17 meters away and then Let's look back there. and yeah, make yeah. sure. Exactly. Whilst following where we think the cable is going. Okay, so that was the plan. All right, so the line, the cable runs directly, keeps going in this direction. It doesn't have any turns in it. It just goes straight to the caisson. Roger okay. that. So if we can find the heading of this cable, which looks like it's dead east. Yeah. Looks like it. Then we can follow that, and it's 17 meters from the aux platform. We should be good. Roger. So... Yeah, I think we're good for a two-wire ops. This is, you think Atlanta's pretty settled out there? Yep. Okay, I know I heard they just called Mike down. I think we're good for lowering there. They're going to have a beacon on the wire, I'm assuming. Yeah. So we should be good with that. <coughs> I would say, if anything, we could move the ship slightly farther east, but is it already going that way? I can't tell. Uh, it's not moving. Okay, and Atalanta's all settled out? Yep. Yeah, it's probably fine. Yeah, so along that line is 70 meters. Uh huh. There's a green cable again, see it? Anyone? I don't. No, no I don't see Is it. Is that not it right there in front of my porch, like right on the edge? Looks like mm, maybe. Yeah. Looks green. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Something. I could buy that. Might be a bead bag strap. No, right in front of your porch now. Certainly looks like it. I can't believe the amount of sediment that's landed here. Yep. Megan, can we do another ship step? Uh, What's the what's the east west distance? Of what's that on sonar? Herc and Atlanta. Is that what I'm looking at? Uh, from the A-frame. From Herc to Atlanta, east west. Can we talk about this first? Uh, what is that? 15 meters. There's 14 meters from Herc to Atlanta. How far east is it? Uh, it's only. Guess not. Uh, no. About eight meters east. Let's move the ship 10 meters east before they put that wire in, please. All right. 15. Seventeen around there. Yeah, sorry, Josh. I didn't want to put that wire in while we were. Well, not we could have just spot. told them to stop, so we could do this first. But I'll just shut my mouth and stop complaining. Hey, what's up? Oh, looks there's like a, a lid. On lid. How sure are we that the lid's not on it? Well, we're not sure. Let's if we land here. We go see. It's got to be very close. That's funny. Nothing on the lid. Yeah. Do you want me to lift All the right. lid? Let's just... This is clear. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, sit here for a bit. Doesn't say... Oh, sure. Is that 17 meters? I guess so. Looks like it. Nice. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about the lid. And Josh, before watch change, I think I'd like to get the vehicle spun around facing east. So we're facing, looking towards where the wire is going to come down. That makes sense. Because once we find it, we're probably going to be sitting forever and ever until that wire is down. Forever and ever. Forever, ever? Ever, ever? No, I don't think, that, I, don't think I hit that. That was off key. Mm -hmm. 
What a mess. Dave's head. You guys don't, don't have the reamer on board, do you? We have a two semi nearly equivalent things to that. We do not have the reamer. With all thread, something yep. that's sticky, you could stick that under and just kind of... Floss it along. Yep. Yeah. It's not a bad idea. Maybe a little less impactful to this. The other option would have been to grab the cables, disconnect them from the aux platform, and kind of fly them up. Another option would, would have been to just choose a totally different career and not have to do this. Cool. Yeah, I haven't thought of that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stuck. You're still young. You guys have... Got time to switch? You have forks in the road still. Ooh. At I least like 10 that. more years before I retire. <laughs> I'm aiming for five. I don't think I can make five. Semi-retire, semi-retire. <coughs> well, it's promising. This lid will be very close. Yeah. Can you reach it? I don't think so. Are we picking up the lid, Dirk, to make uh, sure it's not on top? Let's see, uh, we might, but let's just see if there's any other sign around here once we get some visibility back. Oh, it's never looked clear. <laughs> okay. I think I see something there. What's that? Hmm. Something back there. I think that's the edge of an old bead bag. Can yeah, I'm zoom in you. on that and check it out. Yeah, go ahead, video. All right. Nice glass beads. Huh. And there's quite a mound there as well behind it. Mm hmm. Those are, that's the cable wrapping around, I see know. that cable kind of turns there? Does it go straight in? It, you know what, what I mean? do you think you see? Well, Could you see be, the yeah. spot we're wrapping around the cable right there? Oh, you think that's what that is? Oh. What else could it be? Look, line, line, line. Yeah, it could be. Right, and let's, we can wait for this and see uh, what that could be. Roger. I mean, if we're pretty sure it's over there, then we can pick up the lid here and just to confirm that the lid is not on top of anything. Oh, man. Yeah, that's I would like to lift off bottom in the next four minutes, but I guess it doesn't matter. They're going to do whatever they want anyway. So. <laughs> My limited experience they sure are oh this is the next four minutes oh. i 
thought it was going to be like a nice sunny afternoon to go lay it in the sun, and now it's all misty and foggy. Is it really? Now it's oh. raining. Nice. Can't even get out of the van. Got to stay in here. Just Keep working. <laughs> Keep working. Do yoga in the studio. Yoga studio. There's a yoga studio? Well, that's a studio, and if you do yoga in it, then yes. That's <laughs> a yoga studio. Uh, Fortunately, there's here? nothing obvious here. <laughs> Less than three minutes, Josh. Don't worry. You don't have to see me for another eight, 11 and a half hours. Uh, I think that that is the mound. A bead bag beside it, and the cables come in from the left and go in. Think and if we would have taken the lid off, probably threw it to the right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that theory. It's a worthwhile investigating yeah, I mean, theory. I can't we can lift the lid right now just to, just to... Yeah, we can check it out, but I just don't to check it out. suspect that the... But I, I think the mound is right there. It's right by that bag. By that, that bag? We just zoomed in on yeah. the, on the just right. Just the far side, far right? Side yeah. Of it. yeah, the ROV would have been within... Yeah, I think so. The would ROV you like me to lift this lid? Um, there's no way you can reach that uh, mound, is there? No, the no, no, no. Correct. No. No, it's not going to be. We wouldn't have put the lid back on it. So, so scooch forward? I think scooch forward, yeah. Okay, no problem. Come on. Come on. And, Mr. Trevor, mm -hmm. you want me to come around and do one of these, but I don't want to sit on the cables. Agreed, yeah. The but cables won't be on the west side of it, at least, so. Okay, so I'm going to come really? on. Or the east side of it, sorry. So if you yeah, sit on the east side, you're good. We're I don't want to. I want to sit on the west because I want to look east. Yeah. I'm gonna sit on the northwest, uh, so I'm not on the cables. Roger. Okay. Yeah. Where are the Where are the cables? Cables. So the cables came in from the I west. I saw them. I saw them. Yeah, I saw them when we were sitting. I can't see them right now. You saw them when we were sitting? Well, Just we there? saw we thought, we had a theory that they oh, were the yeah, cables, yeah. but hard to know. They were over by that sea cucumber, what you were looking at. Yeah. This one here? <coughs> yeah, that pink one. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of white around there, which is the color of beads. Yeah, and we suspected this mound to be the mound? Is that what we talked no. about? No. Which mound? The one I'm lining up on right now. Right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of white there, too. Yeah, there is lots of white around, but I think the mound is the thing that's right in front of me. Right by that cucumber. Uh, stop it. Am I getting... Should we do some quick suction dredge and then... Yeah, let's do that. Huh. This is kind of a weird hole over there, but never mind. Because it's very bleedy color. We got a, a dust storm coming in. Might want to just hurry. It's like like from no, the scene from the hurry. Just chill. You want it? I want it. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Okay>. you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> just hurry. It pains me to say that. <laughs> but should, you're right. It should be painful. Yeah. Stand by. Gonna do a pilot change here. Uh, while we're doing the watch change, Megan, you probably know best. 
Um, there was a question about if uh, science research vessels are ever involved in things like search and rescue. Um, yeah, there have been a few cases where uh, a ship has needed assistance um, and research vessels have gone to assist them and taken them to shore. Uh, this also often happens in places like the Northwest Hawaiian Islands where, you know, you're really remote areas and there aren't, you're the only ship in the area to assist. So yeah, there, there have been some cases of that. Do you know if the Nautilus is involved in anything like that? Um, I'm not sure. Probably, I think so. Uh, I know the KM has been involved in a couple operations. One was uh, over near Johnston Atoll. They uh, were able to pick up a few scientists that were on the island uh, doing research before a storm came in. And, and so like that's usually the type of uh, rescue missions that go on. Sure. Nothing like too critical, but if a storm is coming and you live on an atoll that's only a few feet above sea level, mm -hmm. it's really important to be evacuated. And if you're a research vessel in the area, it's your responsibility to help out those people. Sure. Um, and that's also the run responsibility of any ship that's in the area, if you hear a distress call, is to, to go to the aid of the other ship. Go ahead, Deck. <laughs> We're doing a shift change right now. Uh, oh, okay. Stand by. I don't know where that came from, but thank you. Will do. Okay. Good to go. We're ready. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Deck fan. We are ready to deploy. All right, back row. So we're digging holes. Oh, look at that cusk eel. Nice. It's a chonky boy. <laughs> Just the surface. Just the surface. Well fed. What do they feed on, Megan? Uh, they're scavengers uh, down here, so uh, they go for meals of opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, they'll eat small crustaceans. Um, it, they'll be attracted to any sort of... Um, like a whale fall, that type of thing. Um, you know, whatever whatever looks good. Generally not these cucumbers, they don't have a lot of nutritional value. Mm -hmm. um, they're basically the vacuum cleaners of the deep, but uh, small fishes, crustaceans are, are their top meal choice.
No, we lid, didn't pick it up yet. We suspect the lid is only, well, we only use the lids when the caisson's open, so we put it on there if there's no instrument in there. So I don't think it's, yeah, I think it's like really near, but so, yeah, you can still see it. It's right, I was just able to see it. Yeah, it is there. So I think we're really close, but we're still kind of unsure. We don't want to just lift up all the cables because it's stapled in. So like, we might have to go there eventually, but we in our screen right now, we can see a bead bag that's kind of submerged there. And this mound here looks promising. So, but there's a bead bag. So I think this is very close to the site. Uh, and it's the right distance from, uh, okay. So we'll just wait a little bit more here for visibility and then we're going to try some spots and I think um, if we can find the bead bags or the like the glass beads, we know uh -huh. we're in the right spot. Okay. So uh, there's a few mounds in the area and the cable should be here. The lid that we can see looks very promising that we're really close and there's also a bead bag lying on the ground. So there's there are clues. Uh, what's that? But unfortunately, whoever deployed this did a great job of stapling all the cables down so there's nothing to see. <laughs> um, so the cable is going perfectly east-west, starting in the west, heading east. Okay. So, and we are currently facing southish. South. So what would that mean? If the case on in front of us, the cable would be coming in from... Are. Uh, let me get my bearings here. We're sitting there facing south. Cable should be coming in from our starboard side mm -hmm. if it is right in front of us. This tool is really good for suctioning with glass beads, and but suctioning the stuff at the surface, you get all that kind of fibery stick material in there, and then it could start slowing down. <coughs> okay. Um, can we? While we're waiting, there we go. Jake. Yeah. Can we like get a zoom there-ish? Sure. Because it is covered in that probably that similar plastic wrap and. Did we see wrap there, Jeb, earlier? Zoom there, Pete. I couldn't make anything out. But that is, oh, yeah, that's the spot that Josh uh, was focusing on. Oh, there's an anemone. A few things going on there. What is that thing? What is this? Something on the right, yeah. And I just asked Shore if they would mind digging up the installation yeah, uh, CTube video. <laughs> that is very weird looking. Is that a rope over there? Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't look like spiral wrap, though. It's like a little. So. What kind of alien object is that? <laughs> it looks kind of like a Venus flytrap in any view, but like, obviously it's not the right shape but like the wrong everything else and this looks like this piece of plastic or whatever white thing down here looks pretty promising too i don't know what that is but that looks like a shell okay so no, it looks like plastic i think if we can if we can zoom out i'll show you where we should probably try it's doing some suction and then i think like our spot that we thought it could be is just even just right here see if there's some beads if we go in there this dust storm was from 20 minutes ago. Yeah. And it only came from over there. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, good. Danny Cam is behaving today. <coughs> What's the plan, Jake? I, right in that area to the left of the yeah, like in there, dredge. Yeah. Well, if you want to turn on suction and yeah, uh, just yeah, we'll just scoop around a little bit and see what what what's what. I think so. All right. Get the arm in. You don't want to um, suck mean, up this bag. Let me go back into uh, my mode. Oh god, how tight did they get this thing? Just an FYI, the system has been working on the CTD and the data is streaming now. It is? Okay. Thank you, systems. So step one, success. I don't know if you heard, but Dirk said to avoid the bean bag in the middle oh, there, right but there. just to the right of it. <coughs> okay, let's see what we can do here. I'm looking at that kind of white kind of area. I'll give you a little bit of suction when you're in place. Yeah, go ahead, give me suction. Let's see what we can do here. Zoom in video. There we go. Go ahead, suction. Suction, 50%. Give me hundred percent. Let's see what our flow looks like. That is a hundred. <coughs> yep, and we are vacuuming up the sea floor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Megan would really enjoy this. So satisfying. Suction sampling? Uh, we're not even sampling. We're just vacuuming. Just vacuuming the seafloor. Mm, yes. Yeah, if we don't see the color start to change to glass beads soon, then it's probably not. We might have to just cut our losses, go to the ox platform, and pull the cable up. What is this dust cloud? I don't even oh, know. Oh, it's your exhaust. Oh. Why is it coming out in front of us? Yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that is. Uh, All right, so this is not. This is not. Yeah, that's not it. Yeah. That's okay. Like All right, suction coming off. All right, so are we gonna need to like put an exhaust pipe up in uh, like a stack on this thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, normally we face down current, and you never actually see any of this. We just face into the current and then work like that. But okay, so there was a spot towards the east that we were able to see the cable. Okay. Um, so we might just be able to go there and just try to lift the cable a little bit from that position. Okay. So heading fine. heading to the east. Yeah. Well, the good news is this isn't my first time backing up the sea floor. <laughs> How was that for you then? Fine. <laughs> Well, last time I did it, I was in Nome, Alaska in a wetsuit in 30 feet of water and a 6-inch suction dredge sitting down there for about six hours doing just lines back and forth. Find anything cool? Gold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's a pretty good driver. I mean, I had hot water getting pushed down into my suit, so it felt like I was sitting in a bathtub the entire time. <laughs> Okay, looking east. At least this time I won't be tired doing it. <laughs> How far east did you? So about another 
It should be somewhere along here, but the aux platform is 15 meters away. Okay. Roger, what's the beacon number? Oh, the cable's 2405. I think so. I think I might have saw it there. Uh, maybe not. Sorry. Never mind. Can you see the aux platform on your sonar? Um, no, maybe a little bit. Come up. down a bit here. Oh. <coughs> yeah, I think the only sure way is to follow, is to pull the cable up. Otherwise, we're just going to look for this the whole time. You want me to stow my uh, suction sampler? Yes, stow your suction sampler. I can do it in mid-water, I think. Uh, oh, sorry. Are you you're heading east? You're heading east. Oh, west is where you oh. want to go, sorry. West. Thanks, yeah. Dan. That's cool. Turn around. Yeah, I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, that is not right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can watch it there, too. But I got to turn around at the... Close, I can't see the uh, nozzle Are keeper. Now you can just see it. It's over Okey here, dokey. Danny. Okie dokie. Sword back in its sheaf. Alright. Back to our dust storm. This is where we suck it. <laughs> yes. So you turn you go straight through the dust cloud and then straight through the dust cloud. That's gonna be there for the rest of the dive. <laughs> yeah. There's some cable down below you there. Yep. And that's the new instrument that we just placed. Okay. So you oh, I see the cable to the right. Yeah. So I think what we want to do is we just want to keep scooting along the cable and lifting it out of the mud. The only problem why I don't want to do it from the connector and pull on the connector is because the staples, I want to see Thank what the do. staples are doing. That helped a lot. <laughs> So you want to disconnect? No, no, just hold on. Okay. So what we want to do is follow the cable till we can't see it anymore. Okay. Um, heading back towards the east, and then we're just going to try and get the cable out of the mud and follow it. We, we've we exposed it for like 12 meters, and then we kind of thought, let's skip ahead five meters, and then we saw the lid and got distracted. But up there. Yep. Yeah. Smash it into a vac. No, oh, that makes sense too. That's all right. So looks like it stopped right uh, there. Going. I Keep think going. we did expose it. Oh, there before. it is. Yep. Yeah. I see it again. Pull out the staples. And then there will be times when uh, we can see some black cable with it. And okay. And then after that is where we lost it. Yeah, this is it. This is the last place we saw it. Okay. Oh, look. Mr. Fish. Yeah, that's our best friend. He's just been hanging out with us. So, however you need to position the ROV so we can keep pulling that up. 
Um, and this is going to be multiple moves as we scoot along. We didn't bring the candy cane, did we? No, that would have been perfect. But we have two markers, right? We have the north marker and the other one that we could potentially use. Uh, uh oh. Don't Is worry, the fish marks the spot. Yeah. <laughs> He's a good reflective marker. Mm -hmm. It's if we can. Yeah, let me let's think about that. Quite buoyant. So can we go back to the auxiliary platform, which is the opposite direction on along this cable? We're getting passed around, Danny. Thank you. Opposite direction, which is west. That is crazy. Who the fuck? I don't think Megan got me. <coughs> yeah, those are good, huh? They're pretty good. I haven't had those before. Okay. Hey, Dirk. A couple folks on shore. I've, yeah, uh, I'd just rather not. Stephanie, uh, looking at the video for when this but it is quite buoyant. Um, seismometer was installed, and it looks like the caisson lid was moved to the east above the connector of the caisson, maybe. So if we go back, that might give us some reference. I'll try to get a better shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should we get the magnum? Yeah. 